Okay, it's the moment you've all been waiting for the launch of the new Beam App Store. To get this new App Store onto your Beam on your laptop, open a browser and go to beam-apps.com. Click on download and that will download the app onto your laptop. We're then going to take that application, right click on it and hit copy on your PC. Then scroll down to this PC and you'll see Beam and then click on internal shared storage and then right click and paste that file into the root of that device. On your beam then, we're going to scroll down using the D-pad to get down to 2D applications and then inside there we're going to click on files. Now you might notice the first time it opens up it's in Chinese. If you see that then click back to get back to the launcher. I'm going to go up to the top, I'm going to go into settings, I'm going to scroll down to language. You can then pick any other language like German. We're then going to flip back to English. And then if we then go into the files app again, we should now see it's in English. So now on the left, using the directional cursor, just click on Beam and then click on the new file that we just copied across. Click continue and then install. Once that's done, we're going to hit open. We're now going to allow it to install other applications. I'm going to go back. Now using the keypad, hit back again. And now within 2D application, you'll see the app store has appeared. So we're going to go into that. and you'll see all of the different apps which are available for install. So we can click on utilities, for example, at the top, and then we can then click on all settings to download. We're now going to click on install. We now click on done. We now press back again on the beam controller, come back to the start and you'll see this app has now appeared. Now, if we want to change any of these applications to be spatial applications so that we can take advantage of the head tracking, we go into settings, we come down and then in application management, we click on that. And then for each app, like the app store itself, for example, we can come down into display mode and we can now change this across into spatial. When we then relaunch that application, it will now appear up here as a spatial application and will now take advantage of three degrees of freedom. We hope you've enjoyed this uh, quick tutorial. If you have any questions, then please do let us know.